Oh, hello there. Welcome to today's practical planning tip by Park Ridge Wealth Management. My name is Jonathan Shankman. I'm the president and chief investment officer of the firm. And he caught me right in the middle of enjoying a Dunkin' coffee. Some people think that America runs on Dunkin', but this is false. America actually runs on fear and greed. That's what makes the world go round. And if you don't believe me, just study the markets. Speaking of investing, today we're going to continue our discussion on why the most important financial decision most people make is who they decide to marry. Specifically, we're going to cover whether your spouse is an investor or a hoarder of cash. Most people understand that they need to invest to meet future goals. It's very difficult to be financially successful if you aren't putting your capital to work in stocks, real estate, or other businesses that appreciate over time. Assets that aren't growing will experience the corrosive effects of inflation. If your spouse insists on keeping a pile of cash sitting on the sidelines and is unable to take even a modest level of risk to grow your money, it will adversely impact your family's future lifestyle. This is especially relevant today where so many people want the false sense of security of hiding in CDs or money market funds. If this makes up the majority of your portfolio, you are setting yourself up for failure. It's imperative that all couples, especially those who will likely live for many more decades to come, to invest in growth assets. Tomorrow, I'll discuss the importance of a spouse's money mindset. And with that, I hope you found this practical planning tip helpful. Until next time, stay prudent, practical, and don't forget to plan ahead.